Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is the day, as you can see from this video, it's finally here. It's finally in my possession. It's conspiracy time. Oh yeah! Conspiracy palette is here. Um, I also have the mini controversy palette. That is also here. I got my Shane Dawson hoodie on. I got my Matlock Tumblr here. That's all I got. I, I don't have any of the other products. That, that, that's all the product placement I have. <laughs> oh, sorry, not the link. So, very exciting day. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put some makeup on my eyes. I'm not going to really do any swatches. I'm just going to play around with some of this eyeshadow, um, see what kind of look that I can do. I'm not doing anything crazy tonight, but I did want to try this out. Um, I have tried this. Um, I received this. This is part of the story, but I did receive, I did try it once and I did like the look that I made with it, um, but I'm going to mainly focus on the big one today since I have already tried this, but I'll, I'll show it to you. Um, so I'm just going to go through from what I remember, the crazy day that was November 1st <laughs> and then subsequent things that happened after that to get this here palette in front of me. So if you want to keep, if you <laughs> Sorry, if you want to know more about that, then stick around. Okay, so I'm going to open this. And I'm going to show you that um, everything looks good. I do plan to keep that outer packaging because it's amazing. I did get rid of the, the outer packaging for that, though. That was really difficult because it looks so, so cool with that kind of like um, clouded over effect. So here she is. It's actually not as heavy as I thought it was going to be. Cause I mean, it's big, but it's not, it's not heavy, it's clunky. I mean, it's not like, it's basically just gonna sit here in front of my eyeshadow palette collection that I keep up on my vanity. Um, but um, it's not as heavy as I thought that it was. So I was pleasantly surprised about that. I'm happier to report that upon inspection. So you can see that looks good. I don't have any shattered shadows. I looked very closely at it. I don't have any fibers sticking out. So thank you. <laughs> thank you to the makeup gods that everything looks great. Um, so yeah, so let me go ahead and get into the story. I'm going to try to keep this uh, quick. Let me take a sip. My water. And then move it away from my brushes so I don't knock everything down. Uh, what do you think of the pigtails? This is called I washed my hair this morning and then I just let it air dry and had a hat on it all day. And then when I went to sit down to do this, I went, oh, wow, my hair doesn't look good anymore. <laughs> so I was like, oh, well, we'll just do the pigtails because uh, that's easy. So let me get my little brushy. And let me talk about November 1st and let me show you what I'm going to do. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go... I'm going to go into uh, my pills. I just want to do a base shadow all over my lid. And everything looks so great. Like, I hate even touching it because it looks so cool. But I am going to use it. So, November 1st. Uh, that was a Friday. Working. <laughs> Working girl. And I just did the normal thing that I do on my laptop. I had the website up and ready to go. I did the same thing with Tati, Tati, Tati Beauty. See, that's the thing is that because it's Tati, then I really want to enunciate that T in beauty. When normally you just say beauty. So it's Tati beauty. But Tati beauty is what pops up. Totally distracted. Sorry. So I did the same thing with the Tati launch. So I had it up ready to go. The countdowns are happening. You know, I'm occasion check my Instagram stories and all that stuff. Um, that looks nice. It's nice. It went on nice. Feels nice. And now I'm going to go with my transition brush and I'm going to go into, we'll do Tanacon. We'll Tanacon. We'll Tanacon it. Closest I've ever come to Tanacon in my life. Anyway. So it's 11.59 or no, when it live at one, it's 12.59. And I went to hit refresh because just in case if it, you know, was up um, a little bit before or, you know, just waiting to see. Because even though, like, my laptop says it's 1259, who knows? Maybe theirs is a little 
the sink didn't, basically I was just trying to see if it was there. And then I saw the, the crash card thing that it's not working. And I went, okay. So I refreshed again, same thing, refreshed again, same thing, refreshed again. And that's when I saw, um, I mean, basically everybody was screenshotting it, the, the little like sign that says, sorry for the inconvenience, the site's experiencing issues. And I was like, really? And now, I mean, I'm at work and I have to do work while I'm at work. It's not like I'm just like waiting at a register or something and like, or I'm like taking a break. Like I had work to do. So I'm trying to get it to work. It's not working. So I, so it's nice. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get off the website and wait a few minutes and then go back in. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe there's just too many people on it. So I do that, a few minutes goes by, I try to get back in. Because again, I know that once it goes up and it's fixed, it's all going to be gone. It's all going to be gone. <laughs> and I'm trying to make sure that I get it. Just like everybody else. So I go back, same thing. I'm still getting that error. And I'm like, oh, really? So I'm trying to get onto Twitter, trying to figure out um, what I can do to um to get it and i had forgotten about morphe about the morphe site and i'd forgotten about beauty bay beautylish but that's a little bit later but i'd forgotten about that i was just planning on getting it from the jeffree star site because we'd all figured because of the series that they had the most units to go or at least they were equal to morphe and i was like well there's i don't really have i mean i think i do have a morphe account but i was i just wanted it from the drug store site i thought it would be mine the hell did i know so um, i'm gonna go on a little bit into ranch actually with that brush that i used for all over my lid i'm just gonna do that under my brow bone i'll use my little more pointed one for don't put that directly onto my eyebrow that'd be great so again, I'm trying to do work and like getting phone calls and stuff while I'm trying to get this launch into my cart. So finally, uh, Jen from Jen Loves Reviews posted on Twitter that she was trying Morphe. And I went, duh. So I got on the Morphe and it's running slow, but I was able to get, was I able to get the bundle? Was it the bundle or was it just the palette? I can't remember. I think it was the bundle. I think I was able to get um, both. So, and then I'm in the queue. I'm in the queue. I'm in the queue. I'm in the queue of Morphe. And I was like, okay, it's fine. I'm planning on sitting here the rest of the day anyway. So if it's for the next few hours, you know, it's cool. I'm working. It's in there. I'll just keep checking back to see if it's gone all the way through. Because with the Tati launch, I was actually pulled away while I was in the queue uh, for the checkout. I got pulled away from my desk for something that I, I had to go and do. And I was like, Ugh. so I was really nervous that when I came back, I was going to get like booted out of line because I didn't know how long you had from when it took you to where you could pay and when it would be like, it's been too long. I don't remember if there was a timer for that one, but it doesn't matter. I would, I still was, able, obviously I was able to buy it. As you all know, I have a video on it. So, okay. So we did that. That was really nice. I'm going to now... I think I'm going to go into, I don't want to do something super basic, but again, I'm not like going to a rave or anything like that. Um, I'm going to do diet root beer. So I'm going to take a brush and do diet root beer a little bit. And I'm going to um, blend that in here. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Then I'm starting to see people on Twitter saying, Oh, there's, it's sold out on Morphe. And I was like, but I have it in my, I have it in my cart. I'm waiting to check out. And I was like, well, I'm just going to wait till it goes all the way through. And, but while that's happening, because I saw that I was going back to the Jeffree Star website and seeing if I could get it there. And it was still doing the, um, the white screen with the little sign saying that uh, the site's down. So that was going. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. And finally, I see the little tab change on the Morphe site. I go over there and it was sold out. And I was like, 
great. <laughs> so I go back to try the Jeffree Star site. It's not working. And then I see somebody post about Beauty Bay and Beauty Lish. And I was like, oh my God, forgot. Totally forgot about that as well. Oh, I realized I never put powder on my face. Never said, I'll do that later. Just like, oh, my skin was tacky. I'll do that later. Um, I'm going to get my blending brush. And I'm like, oh my God, like this is so much, so much going on. So I go over um, to Beauty Bay or Beulish, whichever one it was. And I go in there and it's sold out. It's something that it's sold out. I was like, oh man, it's like really, that's, that's annoying. So I'm still trying to get back the Jeffree Star site because I, I'm not seeing people say it's back up, it's back up. So I'm like, oh, well, maybe it's not, maybe it is. I don't know. Thank you. This is the benefit to that I didn't shut my face yet. Is that I'm just adding some more here. Cover that up. <laughs> so anyway, finally, because sometimes what was happening on the Jeffree Star site, at least for me, is that it would take me back to the homepage. The homepage would be fine. And then when you would go to like shop the collection, then it would break. That's what would happen. So finally, one time I get the home screen again and I go shop the collection and it actually takes me to the makeup and I was like oh all hands on deck so I go I get the pet it's running slow I get the conspiracy palette in my cart and of all the lips I uh the one that I really really and I still want and eventually will get but it's not like this it was that shot that I really really wanted um it was the Ryland. I really wanted the Ryland. I think that that's a beautiful color. That'd be a beautiful like liner or like eyeshadow topper or basis of and or like a like a cream eyeshadow. I probably would not wear it on my lips. I really don't think it would be a good color just all over my lips. I think it's a little too like this on my lips with like silver in it. It's a little too much. But I think it'd be beautiful just like a touch of it, like just like dabbing over to give it a little like that metallic shimmer thing. Perfect. And that's why I was like, that's the one. Because I don't need another red metallic. Um, so the Andrew shade, while very, very pretty, I don't need another one like that. So I was like, I was at least one to try to get the Ryland, but I wanted conspiracy and mini controversy. So do you know, I get I get con ugh, I get conspiracy in my cart and I didn't, that's when, and that must have been around the time when controversy wasn't up on the website, but at least the website was kind of working. So I had this and I think I had the Ryland in my cart, but I ended up with two conspiracy palettes in my cart because again, it was going slow. So I'd added it again because it wasn't reflecting in the cart, like up in the upper right corner. And, but then when it finally synced up, it said I had three items. And when I clicked on it, it showed I had two conspiracy palettes. And then the lip. And I went, I don't need that much. But I was like, let me just get to where, to the next window. And then I can edit it. Because it wasn't, it was going with so like it wouldn't let me edit it. And I was like, okay, fine. Okay, so that's, that's the base. Um, I think I'm going to do, I'm trying to decide. Um, if I want to do just a theory. Or conspiracy. I think I'll do conspiracy. To make it a little more fun. So I'm gonna do a conspiracy um, on my lid. I just prepped with the Mac prep, uh, the Mac um, Painterly Paint Pad. Just gonna use my finger. <gasps> Pretty. Just put that there. So, so now I'm trying to. Um, so now I'm trying to check out, right? And. When I hit, um, so I go to the checkout and it goes back to the broken screen and I go, are you kidding me? I at least had items in my cart. <laughs> and then it goes to the, the sites down. And I was like, are you, I was so frustrated. Apologies. There's a lot of stuff going on in my house right now. So I'm going to try and finish this as fast as I can. I'm working on the green. So anyway, so um, so I said I got it on my, took it on my cart. And oh my gosh. 
again. <laughs> so sorry. I'm going to try to edit this little section down. It'll be my first editing journey. Or not. There's just going to be a lot of jumps and I'll apologize again. <laughs> the description. So anyway. So. It's my check it, 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 it kicked me back. It kicked me back up. And I went, oh man. Really? It was there. So then I kind of give up. And I was like, you know what? I'll just keep checking it. Um, every once in a while, maybe I'll get lucky and maybe it'll work. Maybe I'll just happen to click and it works. And if it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. You know, the waiting. But, you know, again, it's not the end of the world. So if I don't get it this time, I'll be fine. <laughs> it's all good. So I go back to work. I mean, I'm still working, but, you know, I'm actually focusing on my work. Work, work, work. And I tried the Jeffree Star site again because, again, it, it's not, it's the only one that they haven't, nobody's confirmed that it's been sold out on the Jeffree Star site. I'm using another thing. I'm going to go back into Ranch. Near my inner corner. Pretty. It's really nice. Again, like I said, these inner corner, these inner corner shades have really stepped up recently. <laughs> I'm very pleased with that. You can actually see it. Very nice. Okay. So, um, I go back to the Jeffree Star site and I get, I probably, there was probably a period of time where it was still kicking me out, whatever. But at some point I get, and I get the, the main page again with a picture and I go to shop and I see up in the corner, I see a cart and I see three items and I was like, it's still in my cart. Oh my God. It's still in my cart. Amazing. I go to my cart, kicks me out. <laughs> that proceeded to happen for the rest of the work day. <laughs> till about five o'clock. I leave. I tried it again before I left it. The same thing, but it was still showing in my cart. So I, um, I go home. I get home a little after six, six fifteen. I hop back onto my laptop to see if something happened within that hour. I hop back on, I get the main page, I go to my cart, I can see it, I click on it, it actually lets me go there. I was like, oh my gosh. And I edit it, but now it's saying that the lipstick is sold out. So I take the lipstick off and I edit the palette to one palette and it actually does that. And I was like, oh my God. I hit checkout, it's showing me the queue. I'm like, oh my God. I was so pleased. Um, let me go into, let me use this little brush. I think we'll go into, so we'll get one from each row. We'll go into sleep paralysis in the bottom. Um, and if we need to go a little bit deeper then, oh well, we'll just do that on the outside. Let's see. See what I can do going with that one. So I'm in the queue, I'm in the queue, I'm in the queue, I'm in the queue, I'm in the queue. It doesn't take that long. It pops up to a checkout page. I'm like, oh my God. It says it's sold out. And I was like, so. Sold out, is it? <laughs> but I mean, I knew that the chances were very, very slim. They, I'm pretty sure there had been a tweet that's saying that they were all sold out. So that's why I was confused. It was still showing in my cart. So it made sense. So I was like, okay. So I was like, I'm really bummed. But I realized I hadn't seen anything about the, um, about the mini controversy palette. And I was like, I see that the lips are gone and everything, but about the mini controversy palette. So then, um, Jeffrey tweets out that the mini controversy palettes hadn't been available, but they are now available. And I had seen this, this tweet, it was from like 10 minutes before. And I was like, they're probably all gone, but maybe not everybody's, you know, looking right now. So I get back on the site on my phone. And I go to, um, I see the mini controversy palette. I put it in my cart. It automatically goes there. Amazing. I hit checkout, queuing for a little bit, and then takes me to pay. I pay. Confirmed. <laughs> I went, oh, so that's how that was supposed to go <laughs> the entire day. <laughs> that's how that's what was supposed to happen. That's how it should have happened. Okay, I've got a very interesting thing going on right now. I didn't know this was the right thing to do, but we'll fix it. Um, so yeah, so that's what happened on November 1st. 
I got, I was able to uh, order the mini controversy palette and it actually came, I'm pretty sure by the middle of the next week. Um, or maybe it was week after, maybe it was 10 business days. I can't, um, I'm not exactly sure, but it did come within the 10 business day, um, guarantee. And then over the weekend, they confirmed that, um, they were going to do the restock and you could do the pre-order on November the 5th. So I paid attention to that time and I participated in that. And then I got my palette very quickly and was successful in getting my palette. And so I ordered, I pre-ordered this on the 5th and I received it December 11th. So a little over a month. So yeah, that's, that's a bit to be waiting, but you know what? At least I got it. I got it. <laughs> and it came unbroken. So I mean, you know, in ways I'm I'm happy that I didn't get it from Beauty Bay. Like I don't, I think Morphe was fine. I don't remember. I'm gonna go into spiraling because this is just a little too light. This is actually not a star to go with, but it's very pretty. Like it's very, very like gunmetal-y. Um, I just thought that the pigments around it were gonna be a little bit darker, but it's not, so it's okay. That was my bad. So I'm just gonna put this on top. I'm just trying to deepen that outer corner a bit. Let's see what I can do. Remember when I said I was going to do something like kind of easy and not crazy? Oops. This is happening. So yeah. So it's been a bit of a journey. It's been a little bit of time. But I'm very excited to have this. I'm very excited. And... I received the notification for the shipping on, wait, no, I received it on the 12th. I received the notification on December 11th, and then I received it on the 12th. So either they're paying a little bit extra that when they're ready, they're going out, they're doing like expedited shipping um, for free, or their, um, or maybe just their notifications are, yeah, this is... This is my fault. This is called, I'm, I messed this up. I shouldn't have put that color down first because now I've got some fallout. But that's what this is for. That's what this is for. Well, I'm glad I didn't powder myself yet. Um, but yeah, so I'm very excited about this. This is definitely one of the most interesting palettes that I have, which is fantastic. And, and this, again, this is all me. This is all me not being the best at makeup. Um, maybe if I go back into root beer, rewarm this up a little bit. So I kind of faded out the diet root beer shade a bit. And kind of muddied it up with the with the dark shade. I just wanted to darken the outer corner. That's what I wanted to do. Well, I made it dark. <laughs> Stamp it a little bit. Um, I'm going to go back into the Conspiracy Green. Rebrighten it. Because, again, I made some of it fade away. Yeah. Try and bring it out a little bit, too. So that's my story. <laughs> I didn't sit online for hours and hours and hours sitting in a queue and then it checked out and it wasn't there that would suck that would really really suck um but again i have realistic expectations if i ever have a launch i'm not able to get something it's not the end of the world it's makeup it's not that deep okay see that looks a little bit better maybe i'm just being nice to myself that looks a little bit better um let me do underneath my eyes really quick i'm just gonna go into the diet root beer do underneath lightly not doing that much <laughs> not that much I've got four colors on my eyes okay and then I'm gonna do just a little bit of spiraling just like right here kind of smoke it out a little bit kind of connect it what is that oh <laughs> What is that? Just a little bit. 
because I don't think I'm going to, well, maybe I'll do some liner. I haven't quite decided yet. Okay. I kind of want to, I'm going to put a little bit of just the theory, like right in the middle. Just, it's just a theory, it's just a thought. I don't know if that's going to do anything. No, it's, see, it's not like the Kathleen Light shades that are like, just going to like, it's not like a topper shade. Maybe if I do a little bit of, maybe use a little bit of ranch right in the middle. Do we think maybe it'll do something? Kind of lighten it. Oh, maybe. I just kind of want to brighten it a little bit. See, kind of does a little bit. That's nice. Kind of just lighten that middle a little bit. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Okay, so what I think I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pause right now. I'm going to finish um, my eyes and we'll come back for the finished look. Okay, be right back. Okay, everyone, this is the finished look. I just did some like liner. I kind of blended out shadow a little bit more. Did some blush highlight. I did the Fenty lip gloss that I love so much. And this is the fin and some obviously and some mascara. And this is the finished look. Now my my crease is a little questionable. That's my fault because I put that like silver shade in there. I thought it was a lot darker. My bad. I didn't swatch everything. Plenty of swatch videos for this palette on YouTube, as you all know, I'm sure. And if you don't, there's plenty of swatch videos of this palette here on YouTube. Um, just in case if you haven't seen the mini one in a while, this is the mini one. Um, this would definitely be so, um, this would definitely still be an easy one to um, have for yourself. Um, these shades are probably definitely the most intimidating to me, um, but we'll make it work. Um, I'm planning on attempting to get the green shade because, of course, I want as much of this collection as I can get that I feel that I would use. Do I think that I would actually use that green shade? Ooh, questionable. Um, it would just be more of a to have it. But honestly, I'd probably want to see how much it's going to be. If it's like $7 for one shade, a book shade that I'm probably not going to use and it's not already included in this in a palette itself... I'm probably just going to pass and just be like, I have an OG with the original colors. Um, but like, yeah, this is kind of like the most green that I would do. It's this really like light, sparkly green shade. Um, so yeah, love this. I'm so excited to play with this um, a bit more. And I like the look that came up with. Again, my crease is a little questionable, but my bad. But I do really like this. Um, and I'm happy that I could finally get this done and pretty much my plan now is that that's kind of it for me for makeup. I want to see what the, what the next Tati launch is going to be. Who knows what it'll be. I'm assuming it's not another eyeshadow. Um, and she's saying it's something kind of new. So I don't know, maybe it's not a lipstick. So that's great. Um, so I'm, uh, I'm not saying that I'm not interested in that at all because I am. Um, but I'm, you know, we'll see if it's something I feel like I'm actually going to use. Um, so yeah, so thank you for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, um, please hit the subscribe button so that you can see every time that I post something. I try and post like once a week if I can, sometimes more, and sometimes it's over a week. It's life. So, um, and I've got some, uh, cool ideas coming up. I'm starting to kind of keep track of them, um, kind of maybe do before the end of the year, um, doing some like reviewing of things that I've, um, tried before and see if I still like them. What do I think? And yeah, so I've got some cool things coming up for you. So I really hope you like this video and I will see you all next time. Bye.